Hi everybody, and thank you for taking the time to check out uh, one of the newest little journals from We're Just Two Sisters. So this one is um, just adorable. It is a Winnie the Pooh theme. And as you can see, if I turn the ruler right side up, it is about six and a half inches by five inches, and it has a two and a half inch spine which of course, as you know, means it is just full of wonderfulness. So uh, this was inspired by one of my very favorite books as a child, and I'm sure yours too, Winnie the Pooh. And Winnie the Pooh just had so much wisdom. I uh, actually have a book also called The Tao of Pooh that just has so much wonderful things in it that help you and inspire you to live your best life. So let's check out the inside of this adorable little Winnie the Pooh journal, although it's really not that little. I've tied it together with this fun piece of cloth that I um, tore off of a, another larger piece that I thought the sunflowers were really pretty. It's a piece of um, linen um, and you can um, obviously put whatever uh, ribbon that you would like on it. So it has a front pocket. The front pocket contains uh, two little things. One is a little book um, that I made that is just a tiny little journal that uh, has Winnie the Pooh uh, things in it. And it has a lot of little papers to write on. And it also, ha also has Kenga um, and on the back adorable little thing. I'm going to set these aside so that I can show you at the end the array of things that are included in this journal. Cute little uh, tag here with Winnie on the front and Winnie on the back. I used four different Winnie the Pooh books to put this together and uh, each one is uh, very unique with different illustrators and different stories so I thought it really added to the texture of the book as well as vari adding variety and of course I always find little strings here and there. So again this is a sewn in signature. There are three signatures in the book, one, two, three, and each one of them has approximately 30 pages so it's about 90 pages all told and it has a variety of different types of paper, pockets, um, a little hidden places, sunflowers, honeybees, honey pots, and of course a lot about poo. So in the very uh, front here, as you can see, the signature is sewn in different varieties and different textures of cloth, as well as uh, lace and ribbon. A little picture of Winnie here. I thought this was wonderful for the beginning of this book. This book belongs to, and this could be for a child or it could be for a child at heart. Uh, virtually anyone and lots and lots of writing space. Lots of lace as you can see that is sewn in to the different pages. So let's just take a quick flip through. As I said, there's lots of pages to write on. There's um, book pages taken from vintage books. I've um, uh, punched some of these pages as well as distressed some. There are a lot of pocket tuck-ins that have cards and tags. I've purposefully left some of these blank on the back so that you could either write your favorite little poo sayings or you could just write little notes in it. And again, I'm going to put those aside for now so I can show you at the end the number of different elements that are included in this journal. Um, this is really cute. It's a, a picture that I've uh, glued on and then I've taken some cloth and I've created the leaves to the trees with the cloth. And I thought that just again added another element of design and um, more texture. Another uh, vintage card from a older poo book. And this has some little birds on the back. I set that there. A pocket with sunflowers, more pages. This is um, a, a um, embellishment that I made uh, that's called a cluster. And so it is sewn on to a ribbon and each one of these little elements um, is sewn on and just kind of adds the whole, a whole gang of, of Winnie the Pooh here. You've got Christopher Robin and Piglet and Tigger and Kanga and Roo and Owl and Rabbit and Eeyore and the Wumpa Lump, I think is the way you say that up here. But a very cute little element that just adds to the side here. Another little pocket 
And I uh, made this, it's a babysitter memo pad. And the way that I've filled this out is you're at the house on Pooh Corner. We'll be at the Honey Tree. If you need anyone, call Owl. His phone number is who, who, who. Um, he lives in the forest. The bedtimes of Piglet, Pooh, Roo, and Tigger are tomorrow. And if in an emergency, call Christopher Robin and we'll be back. Yes. I thought that was very cute, and I just tucked that right down in here. I'm going to leave that one in there because it has a special spot of Winnie going to bed. A little um, from an activity book and some a place to write. This is really fun. Five days a week. It has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Hopes for the week. Results for the week. One down, three down. Um, hump surmounted. Can you taste it? TGIF. And I thought that went really well with this book. This is a uh, really cute page with um, some vine here. Winnie with his pot. And I put a flower on top of that. So again, that would add another dimension. This is a little tablet, a little for Piglet. Uh, lots again, uh, again, a lot of writing space. This just tucks right down into that. Um, little belly band here that has Poo and Piglet. More writing space or pages to create your own embellishments. So, um, you know, lots of uh, areas for you to continue with this journal. Little tag here with Piglet. And uh, lots of um, paper that has like uh, honey cones. What is a house without honey? little side pocket there b tree there's a fun pocket uh, i can write my name and as i said this could be this journal could be for a child or it could be for an adult uh, there's nothing in it really that would hinder it from being for a child um, of course with anything you want to make sure little children don't get a hold of things that they might put in their mouths but there's a little tag of kanga uh, you can't help respecting anybody who can spell Tuesday, even if he doesn't spell it right from Rabbit. Lots of pooisms in this journal, pockets to tuck all this stuff down into, and pockets that you can make your own things. This is a really pretty little tablet using a piece of cloth. Um, and again, this has a lot of writing space, sketching space, and it has its own little belly band here that was made specifically for that tablet. I will set that aside. More writing space. I've used my own coffee dyed paper, tea dyed paper, stenciled paper, as well as art paper, vintage linen paper. Uh, again, book pages, some additional tags from uh, some of the books that I've used. This one says, River knows this. There is no hurry. We shall get there someday. I've used um, some vellum in here that kind of creates a, you know, a, a transparency to some of these pages. If someone asks you how a new resident came to be there and you don't know, just say in the usual way, if you know what I mean. Again, the wisdom of Pooh, rabbit and pig. Cute little cards. I'll put these over here. More tags, more um, sayings. Another little pocket made from that same piece of cloth. Uh, if you've eaten the honey that was meant as a birthday gift for a friend, just wash out the pot. Get someone to write happy birthday on it and present the pot as your gift. Great advice. There's a little tag of rabbit, some pretty flowers on the back, more great space. I like this a lot. I've used some of my uh, embossed paper. What is a house without honey? This one has a spot here to add things to. I've got a little poo card in here. Um, this is a great pocket with Winnie, um, both in and out of the pocket. So here's Winnie with nothing in here. Again, you can switch these things around, put them any way you want. You can also add your own tags and cards. But I loved how, um, you know, this pocket, when, when you put Winnie in, Winnie's on some card stock. So if you put him in here, put his little arm over there and place him there, you hide the one behind and it looks like the butterfly is landing on his nose, which is a lot of the pictures uh, in the Winnie the Pooh books. 
more pages. Again, lots of writing. Lines written by a bear, a very little brain. Very cute little poem here. Another side tag with owl. This has a tag, an old vintage Winnie the Pooh picture with the forest on the back and F is for flower and F is for frog. And as you can see, these things easily just slide right down into the pockets. There's Kanga and Baby Roo. Lots of ribbon and lace that um, is attached to these pages. These are some very vintage pictures of uh, Winnie the Pooh that were in a little um, reference book that I had. You can see them. They're very, very pretty. Very um, watercolor type um, pictures. And then this tag is always be aware of how many pots of honey you have in the cupboard. It's nice to be able to say, I've got 14 pots of honey left, or 15, as the case may be. Again, writing pages, lots of journaling opportunities here. A little side pocket with honey, honey pot, a little tag of poo. This is, a, again, a vintage one on the back. It says something to the effect. Oh, it doesn't. Well, I'll have to add that. There's a little saying I want to put on this that says the best way to go downstairs is not bump, bump, bump when your head is hitting the ground. But I do need to finish that one for some reason. It didn't get its final little saying on the back. There's a little belly band that has a card that says balloon and happy birthday. And in the back, it's in Spanish. Keep that one in there because I know that that's exactly where it belongs. And on the next page is about a birthday party and balloons. It's uh, Winnie, nobody can be uncheered with a balloon. Isn't that the truth? Here's a, another little pocket that has P is for piglet and a little card of piglet here that goes down into that little pocket. And got another one here. Welcome, Owl, said Pooh. Who, what are you? The alphabet, of course, said Owl. And here's Owl dressed up like the alphabet. On the back is a little map of the forest. Here's a little card that says alphabet fun, creative child games, and another little card of O is for Owl. And since those belong here, I'm going to leave them in there. But remember, there's even more to this when I show you the array of things that are included. There's some stuff that I still left tucked in. Oh, said Piglet and tried not to look disappointed. But Pooh went into a corner of the room and said proudly to himself, impossible without me, that sort of bear. This has a little uh, tuck in here. And again, there's quite a few things that might fit here. You could, you could stick that one in there. You know, there's all kinds of different options for uh, what you might want to put in. Here's another one that would definitely fit into that pocket. I'll just leave these out. Here's some uh, learning to uh, write cursive and some tracing paper. I just learned recently that they don't even teach cursive writing in school anymore. I, I found that kind of disappointing. Here's the center of the second signature with Pooh and Tigger. And I loved the contrast of these images with that paper. Lots of writing space, places for more pictures and cards. Again, using that little piece of cloth. I think it was a tiny little baby blanket that I found in a thrift store and bleached it all up. And it just used uh, worked perfectly for some of those little cloth covered um, pockets. More uh, cards in this fun little pack uh, corner pocket here. Most of these are sewn on. So um, this journal is put together very well and it will last for a very long time. So here's some little cards. If this is flying, I shall never really take to it, said Kenga. There's a really pretty butterfly card that I liked in that spot. Um, this is a bookmark. I'll leave that in there because that's the place it was intended for. It's an Eeyore bookmark. Um, again, I purposefully left some of these embellishments blank so that you can create your own designs on them. 
um, or you can write on them or whatever you would like to do. I find a lot of people would really like the great startings of a junk journal or a journal, um, but they'd like to finish it themselves. So I want to leave that open and be, give you the opportunity to finish it in, in the way that you choose. Pretty little tablet that goes in this little belly band, a piglet, and uh, it has just blank pages for sketching or writing, or you could even make a tiny little um, miniature uh, junk journal out of that. You can put your own little pockets and tags and little miniatures in it. I've done that several times myself. Here's an example of some of my uh, coffee and tea dyed stenciled papers and another little side pocket with the um, forest and the map. And you know, these, these can hold quite a bit as you can see. So I'll set these aside and move this up a little bit. Running out of space, there's so much stuff. Here's a little door um, with Kanga and Piglet and you open it up and you can see that the inside is Kanga and Baby Roo come to the forest end of that signature and then of course the last one has a pocket as well if you take the things out you can see poo uh, another little vintage picture another tag with rabbit and poo and uh, another little card sometimes a boat is a boat and sometimes it's more of an accident it depends on whether you're on top of it or underneath it very cute and then a, a subtraction card from a, a variety of different children's cards that I have. And then on the back is yet another little pocket that contains a tiny little poo card, as well as this little book um, that has uh, poo on the front and Tigger on the inside. And it has quite a few little pages and then Eeyore and Pooh on the back. Um, those little booklets are so much fun. Um, so again, that is the um, Winnie the Pooh journal. I hope you enjoyed it. It is available to purchase on uh, our Etsy store, which is www.wearejusttwosisters.itsy.com. And I'll just kind of pan out here as well so that you can see all of the different things that come with this journal. Excuse the things on my desk. Um, but you can see that there's quite a bit of uh, different cards and tags and so on that come with this journal. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and God bless.